Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Rule the Waves 2 as Great Britain. I find it rather amusing that our most effective and still fighting line of battle ships is the Iron Duke class. I think those ships have given probably the most distinguished service record of any battleships in the fleet. I think they've been in more fights and won more battles by their firepower and insane armor than uh, any other ships in the fleet. The Juggernauts were a nice step up from there, but as you can see, they have not fared quite so well in this particular fight. With that squadron being scattered to the four winds and heavily battered and in very poor condition. Of course, we also have the Camperdown class up here, which have done their part since the very beginning of the British Empire. But uh, they're definitely showing their age, and despite the contribution of their heavy SSMs and including their 12-inch shells as well, I think they've definitely done their part and it's time for them to go away. They are going to retreat and they are not coming back into the fight. But I believe that the Americans are on the run. Aside from that one ship over... Hang on, here it is. Did it sink already? Oh, it must have sunk already. Okay, cool. Well, it is out of the fight and I don't have to worry about that anymore. And we have a number of other ships in the area that we can chase down. Now that our ships have had a chance to put their fires out and get their damage and flooding under control, we're going to run these things down and see what kind of damage we can do. We still have plenty of daylight, so we're just going to keep on lobbing airstrikes at these guys until we get something that sticks. So, without further ado, let's get this party on the road. Oh. Collingwood and have tried. Oh, I think that's just messages from the. Uh, just reminding us that these ships are in trouble, but that's fine. Do we want to pick up survivors? You know what? Honestly, I think it is okay to start picking up survivors. Let's start doing that. And do we want to pick up survivors from the Inconsiderable? Yes, we do. Unidentified ship? Sure, why not? Samson class, Congress class, oh yeah, let's do this stuff. I thought we already picked up survivors from Humongulus, but sure, we'll pick up more. Alright, do we want to just final strike location? Honestly, I don't think so. I think this is a pretty good strike. So we'll let them go forth and see what they discover. And of course, we will keep on chasing whatever these guys are. Let's see if we can get that last uh, North Carolina class finished off. Okay, four more... You know what? Yeah, we are going to shift these ones. We're going to go over this way. Alright, there we go. Keep on rolling. Okay, do I want to attach... Calliope? No, we still want to keep those guys together. Do I want to pick up from unsighted? No. Another adjustment for torpedo bombers? Nope, we'll send them to the same spot. Dive bombers, same spot. Uh, these torpedo bombers? Nope, same spot is fine. Seven, same spot. Yeah, it's all fine. All fine. I just want those airplanes going somewhere. Okay. Oh. Hang on, there's a Congress over here? Oh, that's the one that we didn't finish off yet. Well, hopefully that is about to change. I suspect that the Ribble here is about to do some serious damage with its torpedoes. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to have a chat with its captain about lack of aggressive thought. All right. Looks like we're finally starting to get some airstrikes in, and yes, we want to pick up stuff. Do we want to just find the strike location? Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to send them over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to send them over here. Just to be safe. And let's see, our first groups are going in. There we go. Torpedo bombing an enemy CL. And this general, wow, that's a decent sized strike. Well, 
considering the number of planes out of action, but it's actually pretty decent. Dive bombers going in, no hits. Torpedo bombers going after a CVL. No hits yet. There we go. Dive bombers getting a hit. Good. One fighter goes into strafe, and, well, it gets pretty well flattened. And torpedoes going in as well. Ooh, ouch. They did not do too well on that run. Okay, do we want to pick up survivors? Yes, we do. Okay, five more dive bombers going in. No hits. More aircraft approaching. That's good. Looks like we have found the general area we want to be. At least for now. Going after AMCs. I'll bet those are actually transports. And do we want to detach to pick up Survivors? Sure, why not? And this other one? Sure, why not? And another one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. We'll just keep on running right along. Oop, hang on, I saw some bomb hits there. Oh, hang on, we got some hits on a carrier. Nice! Nice shooting. Okay, we'll just keep on running right along here. Dive bomber's going in. We got a bomb hit on a destroyer. Oh, torpedo bombers glide bombing an AMC, but they miss. Well, nuts. Oh, hang on, we just got a torpedo hit. Nice. That was, who was this, who was this? No, oh, those dive bombers, here we go. That was a cruiser of some sort. I, of course, do not entirely trust those reports. Okay, North Carolina is fleeing to the south. What's this one doing? That one looks like it's heading to the north. Let's see, how fast is North Carolina moving? 10 knots? I think we should be able to close in and catch it. So we're just going to turn for a full pure pursuit so you can run this thing down. And how is the Leviathan doing? Looks like she's just about in range. I'm going to turn her a little bit closer in so we can close that range a bit better. We'll see if we can put this ship out of her misery. Okay, do we want to pick up survivors from an unidentified ship? No. Let's see. What's going on over here? Leviathan keeps on spotting and then losing track of the North Carolina. But I think she should be okay now. Okay, dive bombers going in, no hits. Oh, well, we got a hit on a destroyer. But I think after we finish off this North Carolina, it'll be time to call it and start withdrawing. Oh, hang on, I should probably turn my radar ranges back on so I can see what all I can actually see. Okay, dive bombers going after a battleship. Nice. And we've got two hits. Oh, we are just stacking on the damage here. Oh, and some torpedoes as well. Good shooting, guys. Good, good shooting. Looks like we're having a little bit better success now. Oh. One, two, three, four. What was that? That was some serious hits. That's some sort of ship that is in very bad shape. And we've got another unidentified ship hit. Top bombers go after a battle cruiser, and we get another two bomb hits. Nice. Yeah, I think these airstrikes are definitely starting to tell. 
Certainly they are contributing quite a bit more. All right, do we want to pick up survivors? Yeah, we'll do that. I should also check and see what strikes I have available now. Looks like Carry Division 19 is all used up right now. Carry Division 21 has not much. Carry Division 4, oh, uh, hey. We've got some dive bombers available on the Griffin. And we've got a few more available on the Unicorn as well. I don't think I'm going to coordinate a strike between them. But I certainly am going to send them in that general direction. Our target battleships, and let's say this general direction. Not a coordinated strike, launch strike, yes. We'll get those planes back out and doing damage. Okay, next up, carry division eight. Appears to have some torpedo bombers available. And you know what? I think I'm going to send out some fighters as an escort as well. And it should be close enough that we can send a heavy load. I know that's going to hurt their dogfighting capability, but you know what? There's not a lot of enemy planes left in the area. So we're just going to send those out as is. And see what kind of stuff we can do. Yep, that's fine. Carry Division 10. Ooh, hang on. We got some dive bombers here. All right. And this group, I'm going to swing. Well, we've been seeing some success down this way as well. So I'm going to send these guys over this way. And that is a nice big squadron there. Launch. All right, boys, go get them. And they're doing some good work there. We got another dive bomb hit on one of these transports. Okay, do we want to pick up survivors? Yes. I'm not going to blanket pick up all survivors. Whoa, hang on. Impenetrable needs to turn around here. And more planes approaching. Yeah, I think we need to turn the impenetrable around. I want her closing in over this way. Let's see if we can corner some of these ships, whatever they are. Whether they're transports or carriers or what. I don't know. But we'll take it. All right. Leviathan just took a hit in return from the North Carolina, which is not great, but she has certainly slowed down quite a bit. And it looks like our cruisers are closing in as well. What is this guy doing? Well, I think that uh, ship is in pretty big trouble as well, because she looks stopped and probably sinking. Okay, torpedo bombers are going after something over here, and they got a hit with a bomb. Probably a, what, 2,000 pound bomb? Whatever, that's a hefty hit. Okay, do we want to pick up survivors? Yes, we do. I might just... Oh, hang on, I saw some carrier bomb hits right down here. Yeah, there's definitely enemy capital ships still in the area. And we can still hammer them. I don't think they're capable of launching strikes, though. And we're getting more bomb hits on enemy ships. So I suspect, even though we definitely did not come out very well from this fight, I think the Americans came off worse for the wear. I mean, look at this Congress class. She has stopped and probably sinking. All right, do we want to pick up survivors? You know what? I'm just going to give them a blanket yes to all. Go pick stuff up. That way I don't have to keep on getting interrupted by this stuff. Okay. Juggernaut is just about within gun range. Leviathan seems to be doing okay. It looks like the line of Iron Dukes is almost in range. Although, it may be about time to start turning around, because looks like they're rallying. Look at that. They've got at least one battle cruiser turning to present broadside. And their heavy cruisers are coming back as well. Alright, let's... Uh, let's turn this guy over this way. And I think that North Carolina may not be getting out of here. How's Juggernaut doing? 
Okay, Juggernaut is actually in very good shape. Aside from her propulsion damage. So I think she is fine to close in and try and do some more damage. So we're going to turn her to the south. I think we're going to do the same thing with the Iron Dukes. Alright, we've got some bomb hits on cruisers. Nice. And let's see, where is my other capital ships? I think, okay, here's Behemoth. And, oh yeah, 12 knots. I don't think she's going to be getting into the fight anytime soon. So I think I'm going to turn her, well, generally north. And eventually I'm going to turn her around and start her going back home. Let's see, Destroyer Michael can sweep over this way. And the Impenetrable can, well, I want her sweeping in this direction as well. We'll just close in the, uh, we'll close in the surround from the east. Let's see, one Dime Bomber going in, no hits. But there's definitely stuff in this area. Rodney out of ammunition for guns that bear, which makes sense because all of her forward turrets are out. Ah, nuts. If only they could relay some of the ammunition from the forward magazines back aft, but if they had a flash fire and burn stuff out, <laughs> yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Not to mention, the ship would have to be specially designed to handle moving shells and powder and all that other stuff very long distances inside the ship. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. It should for the smaller ships, which it doesn't. But for bigger ships like this, totally makes sense that you cannot move ammunition from one magazine to another. Oh, hey, we're getting some bomb hits on a cruiser. All right. Good stuff. All right. Congress is stopped. It looks like, whoa, hang on, hang on. I'm seeing another battle line here. They still have battle cruisers left. How they have battle cruisers left after the amount of bombardment we have done, I have no idea. But they got them. All right, let's see. We're going to turn to open up our broadside just a little bit more. And Juggernaut is targeting one of those battle cruisers as well. Good show. Good show, chap. All right. Looks like we have some more ships approaching. And, or correction, more airplanes approaching enemy ships. That's fantastic news. Which means we've got more uh, strikes ready. And it looks like they're also repairing damaged ships, which is good. Although I don't like how they are leading with those destroyers. I need, I think we're gonna start breaking off. I do not want to run headlong into those destroyers. All right, do we want to just final strike location? Honestly, I don't think so. That looks pretty good. That'll be landing right into their back area and whatever Escorts they have back here, whatever carriers they have. I think that's fine. So I'm not going to reposition that. All right. Dive bombers, no hits. Torpedo bombers, we'll find out next turn. Torpedo bombers, again, we'll find out next turn. But yeah, there's stuff all in this area, and they are attacking it. Okay. Final strike location. No, I'm not going to adjust that. I think it's good. Oh, we got another bomb hit on a cruiser. Nice. That stuff does add up. I do kind of wish my cruisers here would get a little bit more aggressive, especially the Isis. She's running a little bit l rich on ammunition. We need to spend that stuff. Bardish has been doing her job just fine. I'm a little bit disappointed that she only has four hits for all the ammunition she's expended. But you know what? She's been doing her job, 
she's been firing at the enemy and chasing off enemy destroyers, and we'll call that good enough. All right, keep going. All right, Leviathan can turn around and try and join the line. Okay, and again, well, you know what? I'm going to shift. No, dive bombers are more effective against carriers, so I'm going to leave them in this area. I do want them hitting those areas. See what kind of carriers we can find and sink. Oh, let's see. We are firing at the enemy Congress classes. One Congress, one Alaska. Looking worse for wear. Now, granted, I'm not exactly in good shape either. But we're getting hits. Okay, Juggernaut took a superstructure pass through hit. Doing just fine. I want those guns on target. Those front guns as well. So we're going to turn a little bit more to the starboard. See if I can get those front guns opening fire. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 10 17 inch guns. And we get a hit. Fantastic. And it looks like we got a second 16 inch hit on this guy as well. So hopefully we can wear her down quickly with concentrated fire. All right. Looks like that previous Congress class that was in bad shape has finally gone down. Good. Uh, Rodney takes a hit on an already disabled turret or an already damaged, destroyed turret and it gets disabled. That's fine. Oop. Collingwood takes a hit on one of her missile launchers. Unfortunate. And Congress takes another 17-inch shell hit. Look at that one catapult out of action. Hopefully we can start getting some of those turrets down as well. Oh, enemy aircraft approaching Juggernaut. What? Oh, haha. -ha. Four dive bombers. Well, it is the Juggernaut, so I'm not hugely worried about it. Okay, we got a few random destroyers and such wandering around back here. And, oh, what is that? Well, whatever it is, they don't like being in the uh, radar signature of my destroyer, so I guess they're running away. Oh, Iron Duke has damaged fire control. How's she doing? Still got one, so we're still in the fight. Oh, Juggernaut just lost her bridge. And it looks like her entire superstructure has been knocked off, too. That's going to hurt her crew quality and her accuracy. Yeah, look at that. Hit chance took a big hit. So if we pull up the odds here, yeah, crew quality is hurt quite a bit there. <sighs> well, at least she's got all her guns on target now. So hopefully just slinging additional shells in their direction will pay off. Yep, another hit on the Rodney's B turret. Disabled again. Oh, man. <laughs> Those poor, poor dive bombers. <laughs> They're trying to fly through so many SAMs. Not to mention we also got some hits on the Alaskas. Hooray. But yeah, three dive bombers go in. One aircraft destroyed, two aircraft destroyed, and, well, there's three damaged. So whatever comes out of that, they're in bad shape. Ooh, and there we go. Starting to get some serious hits on that Alaska class. And she is down to one functional turret, which is fantastic news. Looks like they have changed their mind about advancing, and they are turning back around again. Although, if this second Congress gets back in the fray, we may be in trouble. We currently have four battleships in the line to their three. But it does look like they're starting to reform. Yep, Iron Duke takes another hit. She's still holding up just fine. Bouncing that turret hit off the juggernaut as well doing just fine 
And we're still taking out their airstrikes. We are still absolutely flattening those things. Good, 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 good. Yep, bounces a belt hole hit. We slam another 17 inch hit into the Congress. And another 16 inch hit on the Alaska. And granted, the Alaska is well armored, don't get me wrong. 12 inches belt, 5 inches deck. I certainly cannot penetrate that deck, not at these ranges. The belt, certainly square on hits we can go through. But at angles like this, that's not looking good. So we may not be doing a whole lot of damage to them right now if they're just running away. That said, hopefully we can get some damage on this other Congress class. Yeah, there they go. They're shifting fire. How's Leviathan doing? She is targeting the Savannah. I'd love to see a few hits on her. Okay, Congress class takes another hit. 16 inch. That looked like a decent angle. More airplanes approaching targets. Good. Oh, they are way down here. Well, I don't have any radar coverage here, so I have no idea what they're after. But I guess we'll find out based on what they hit. Ooh, Basilisk's launching torpedoes. Well, it's not a great torpedo spread, but it is the area, general vicinity of where the enemy ships are milling around in confusion. So, you know what? Good on you, Basilisk. Put those torpedoes to good use. Better to launch them and reload than to never launch in the first place. Oh, let's see. We got a 16-inch hit. Leviathan bounces another hit. And Rodney takes two damaging hits. How bad is things? Oh! What? That's ridiculous. Deck extended and it causes 248 flooding? That can't be right, but whatever, we're going to have to get her out. All right, let's see, so it's this one. All right, Rodney, you are detached. And we are going to reduce speed on you to 10 knots. Turn you away. I'm not going to tell you to cease fire yet, but I will soon enough. Okay, how's Leviathan doing? Looking okay. Oh, nice. Getting some torpedo hits on whatever's back here. What did the pilots call it? Let's see. Going after a battleship. Oh, nice. Well, I hope that's a finishing off type hit. Certainly something back there has uh, been in very bad shape. Morris reduced speed due to heavy flooding. What? Seven is heavy flooding? I think we'll have to have a talk with your engineering crews about what constitutes flooding and what does not. Granted, water in the bilge is not good, but it has to be in excess of the ship's dewatering capacity for it to be properly called flooding. Okay, and looks like we got another hit off of a single torpedo bomber. Wow. Well, no, no, no. That is two different things. Okay, totally misread that. Okay, that's the one. Torpedo bombers from the dragon are what hit. Okay, one out of two. Not bad. Okay, Rodney is limiting flooding. How bad is it? Down to 167. Okay, keep going. Those torpedoes are looking decent. Insanely long-range oxygen-fueled torpedoes. I love those things. They have so much reach. Heck, they even have longer reach than uh, our light cruisers. Kind of defeats the purpose of a light cruiser if it cannot outrange the torpedoes that it's trying to counter. But you know what? 
whatever. All right. I am seeing enemy ships down here, including at least one heavy cruiser. Well, that's not great. Let's, uh... Oh, Impenetrable has repaired her turrets. Let's bring her down south. See if we can deal with the, that cruiser. All right. Looks like our armor is holding up just fine. We're bouncing off hits. So we're not taking any significant damage. It's a good thing we've been... Ooh, Amphitrite is in trouble. Oh man, that was a 16 inch hit. Of course it would go through. And knock out aircraft and destroy secondary guns because that's what 16 inch guns do. They are very big explosives. I remember hearing stories from a guy who was on the USS Iowa and he said they wouldn't just destroy a target when they were firing, they would destroy the hilltop that the target was on top of. Which is great when you need a target destroyed, you just have to get close enough to flatten the area. The downside to that, oh, and we get splinters in the uptakes. Well, she's still able to move, so I guess we'll call that good. At least good enough for now. Swing her around. Hang on, do we want to go that way? Well, there are a number of cruisers. I'd rather not her getting too involved in that. But I do want to prevent those cruisers from getting at the Leviathan. So, you know what? A valid concern. Let's see, Impenetrable is heading south. Juggernaut, I think it is safe to turn Juggernaut back in. And I know we've mostly been limiting the damage based on our ship's angle. Oh, well, let's see what those guys are doing. Okay, they are in a retreat, so I think I'm going to turn back in. And we're going to charge these guys and see what kind of damage we can do. Hopefully we don't take too much damage while we turn. How's Rodney doing? Oh, come on, man. Let's get that flooding limited. We have... And she's doing it. She is limiting the flooding. So, good for another battle, hopefully. Whoa, hang on. Fire spreads? What? What fire? Where did this fire come from? I see no fires, except for an on fire. That's not cool. Come on guys, I know there's flooding, and I know flooding can cause grounds. But if you have a half decent team of electricians, you can isolate the grounds before they turn into fires. You've had plenty of time you just have to do it. And it looks like we are now on fire. All right, Rodney, we're going to have you hold fire. Send all crews to damage control. Unman the turrets. Go fight those fires. Okay, Juggernaut seems to be doing fine. Iron Duke and Collingwood are also targeting the Congress down here. Oh, hang on, battleship fires at the Impenetrable. What? Okay, that's not the Impenetrable. All right, Impenetrable. Hull pass through a hit. All right, we're gonna turn you a little bit further south. We're gonna try and angle you against those. Because I don't like that. I do want you getting close enough to finish that off, whatever it is. I want an ID and I want more shells on it. And I think we can manage that. I also want to see if we can hammer this guy down. 
Or at least knock her out of the fight. Juggernaut bounces a shell. Good. That's how we do it. Six Blenheims approaching target. Good. Actually, that reminds me. Let's do a quick review here. And we have more planes available. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Target area is going to be... Oh, well, somewhere around about there. And I want dive bombers, torpedo bombers, fighters. You know, we're going to switch those fighters over to naval strike with heavy load. Because I don't think they have any cap left. I haven't really seen much about that. Let's see. I know we've got torpedo bombers. we got dive bombers, more torpedo bombers, and more dive bombers. All of that stuff looks good. All right. Not doing a coordinated strike. I need you guys out there and at the target as quickly as possible. Okay, and that's everything we got. Launch strike. Yes, I am not coordinating. All right, Carry Division 21 is also showing... You know what, I'm going to hold off on these guys for a little bit more, give them a chance to repair a few more aircraft, and send them out in a larger group. Carrier Division 4, ooh, yeah, same thing. I don't want to send them out in small penny packets like that. Let's give them a little more time to repair those planes. Do we have any good groups here? Well, we've got one group of dive bombers. Oh, hang on, we got one group of dive bombers, one group of, fi of uh, torpedo bombers on the rock. So we're going to send those out, see what kind of damage we can do. Okay. I still want to be sending torpedoes whenever I have them, so that's good. And dive bombers, heavy loads. Sounds good to me. Launch strike. Again, not coordinating. Carry division 10. Well, they're up to... Eight, nine. Uh, now I'm going to hold off on those. Well. You know what? Yeah, I think it's worth it. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to launch the planes off a of dragon. So we'll take that. We'll take those. We're going to say naval strike. I want a heavy load on that. And we're going to take the nine torpedo bombers. And we're going to send those on out. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to send the dive bombers off of the gargoyle as well. There we go. Launch strike. Okay. Sounds okay to me. We will find out what this thing down here is. Once the... Uh, Impenetrable gets close enough to figure things out. All right, Rodney is limiting flooding again. That fire is still present. It is now showing, though. Oh, hang on. These guys are not able to fire with all their guns. Let's open those broadsides up a little bit more. Oh, nice bomb hits with our dive bombers. Good. Juggernaut bouncing another heavy hit. Kind of like it if you could hit them as well. How are you doing on firing arcs? Honestly, looking pretty good. How are you doing on ammo? Eh, not great, but you still got some, so keep on firing, man. Keep on firing. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, I guess we're going to have to angle towards. Man, they are just unloading. How do they still have ammunition? Amphitrite has fired off all of her main ammo. How is she doing on secondary ammo? Well, she's still got a decent amount of secondary ammunition left, so I guess she can still serve a role. 
But I don't really want her wandering around up that way, so we'll just turn her around. Try and keep the group next to the thing. Oh, Juggernaut's starting to take some damage there. Those are actually doing damage. I do not like that. But we're hitting the Congress in return, so I think it's fair. Okay, do we want to catapult launch search float planes? No. 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 No, 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 no. Nope, we're not doing any more search float planes. And here we go. We are starting to get that Congress in return. Iron Duke is getting hits. Juggernaut's getting hits. And we are bouncing whatever they've got. Fantastic. Do we have an ID on whatever that battleship is yet? Are you even able to target that battleship? I know you're low on ammunition, but I would kind of like it if you could, you know, kind of shoot the thing that's shooting you. How are you doing on ammo? Okay, A turret is completely out. B turret has 99 rounds. It looks like the aft guns are the only ones with ammunition left, but I just want you to shoot at something that you can shoot at without distracting and hurting everyone else's targeting odds. All right, another 17 inch hit, good. Juggernaut takes a hit in return. Superstructure pass through hit. Oh, we're getting into secondary range now. Okay, I think it's about time to swerve away again. There we go, bouncing those secondaries, good. Hopefully we're able to finish that turn. Yep, bounce that right off. And Collingwood gets a 16 inch hit, nice. Oh, we've locked out, or knocked out her uh, X turret. Sorry, Y turret. Yep. Penetrating hit on the belt, how are you holding up? Okay, we are starting to take some flooding. The damage is starting to build up. And our max speed is limited as well. Oh boy. Hang in there, Juggernaut. Help is on the way. I hope. How fast is the Congress going? 25 knots? Ooh. Okay, well, we are still hitting that Congress class. Whatever it is, we are doing damage. All right, Impenetrable is targeting that. I wish we could get an ID on it. I want to know what it is. Okay, do we want to just final strike location? Honestly, I think it looks good. Well, this is right in the middle of the main enemy force. They've got battleships here. They've got cruisers here. I think it's fine. Yep, we'll call those good. Getting a five inch hit. Getting a 16 inch hit as well. Keep doing that, guys. Every hit does the job. Oh, and the blunderbuss takes a secondary hit. Oh, calling tower hit, but it failed to penetrate. Aha. Uh -huh. Take that, you flimsy American shells. My conning tower is too tough for you. Oh, and then they immediately punch through the juggernaut secondaries. Whoops. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh man, you know what? I should probably start clearing out some of all these unnecessary blue dots. Let's see. Any old reports, I think we can clear off. So we'll go up through, I don't know, here. Just delete those outright. There we go. Much clearer. Let's see, in fact, I'd really like to clear out anything less than an hour old. So, current time is 1743, last report 1715, 16. Okay, so all of these are still timely reports from 
major recent strikes. So there's definitely stuff in this area, not much, but stuff. And there's quite a bit of stuff in this area, which is what we're going to be trying to hit overall with our next wave of airstrikes. I guess, are these guys still searching for stuff? I don't know. No idea what they're doing. Okay, hits on the Congress, nice. Juggernaut starting to take another four and aft hull hit, what? And somehow she is on fire. Well, that's interesting. Wow. It looks like we might be in a position for a torpedo run. How's the Michael doing? Well, she's got one set of torpedoes. How are these guys doing here? North Star and Mom Luke both have torpedoes as well. They're a little bit limited on speed, but you know what? Every bit counts. All right, so we're going to squad max that. And they're going to be lying abreast for this because I just want them heading in the right direction. We're going to turn these guys in. Michael is going to go squad max because I think she's got her. Yep, she got her stuff under control. And we're just going to charge right in there. And we're going to shove as many torpedoes as we can down that Congress's throat. Let's see, how are these guys doing? Blunderbuss still has plenty of ammunition left. So hopefully she's getting involved. And I hope the rest of these guys, Amphion and Calliope, can also get in there. But mostly I want the Blunderbuss getting her autoloaders in the action. Because those can do some serious damage. Blunderbuss bounces a light hit. Oh yeah. Armor doing useful things. It's a little weird they're calling that light guns. Because she has 5 inch guns which are technically mediums. Those aren't light, those are medium guns. Alright, Juggernaut has limited flooding, good. And we have aircraft approaching. Alright, how's Rodney doing? It looks like Rodney's all by herself. She's got the flooding mostly under control. How's Leviathan doing? What is Leviathan doing anyway? She's in very good shape. I mean, right now I need her to cover the Rodney with her AA guns, but other than that, she should have been down here. Why was she pulled back? I'm sure there was a good reason. I just can't think of it right now. All right, and Niobe, Niobe had flooding? Oh, yeah, she had some steady flooding going on, and she got it down to level one. All right, cool. All right, I'm also seeing more aircraft being repaired. So let's take one more quick look through that and see what else we can launch. Looks like we have several wings over here that are in the process of being launched. Looking good. Carrier Division 21... The Manticore finally has some stuff ready. We've got dive bombers and some fighters that we can launch. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to grab this and those, and we're going to switch those over to Naval Strike as well. We're going to send them kind of over... Oh, I don't know, probably over this direction. We'll see what kind of stuff we can get from that. I don't want you with medium, I want you with heavy payload. Dropping them big bomb. 500 pounds. Alright. Dive bombers, glide bombing fighters. Yep, looks good. Launch strike. And yep, we're not going to worry about coordinating. I want them out as quick as can be. Alright, carry division 4 is looking okay, but we don't have enough to launch yet. Carry division 8... 
Again, nothing significant yet. Carry Division 10. Yep, still nothing significant. Okay. Looking good. Not launching a whole lot of strikes, but every little bit counts. Alright, Rodney is limiting flooding again. Yeah, we might have this under control. Well, we are going to find out what happens with those airstrikes and our own airstrikes in the next episode, because we have just passed our 50 minute mark, so I'm going to have to call this episode to a close. Wow, this fight has really gone on for a long time. But that's what happens when you have big fleet actions like this. Alright, I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, this is Katori87, signing off.